we're gonna be comparing the speed between the Note 20 Ultra, Snapdragon, and Exynos. First up, the boot test. Three, two, one. This is Exynos, this is Snapdragon. Very interesting. Okay, phone app 321. Clock 321. Play Store 321. WhatsApp 321. 9 gag 321. YouTube 321. Calendar 321. eBay 321. AliExpress 321. Swift Installer 321 Google Chrome 321 Discord 321 Device Maintenance 321 If you ask me, this proves that you don't need 12 gigs of RAM because this has 8 gigs, this has 12 gigs and as you can see, there it's almost nearly identical Next up, we're gonna play PUBG 321 Okay guys, unfortunately I cannot compare side by side because it won't even let me um, open the game on both two phones at once. So I'm sorry about that. We're just going to have to sell it like this. So as you can see, this is the Exynos version and it's running pretty smoothly over here. These are the highest graphics, as you can see. And, you know, walking around over here, without a problem. I think HDR is on. Yeah, HDR is on. You know, it's jumping around. I need a weapon. Phone's gonna get a little warm, but that's normal. I swear to God, I... I turned off Wi-Fi, I was playing on 3G, then I used a freaking VPN. It still wouldn't let me run these devices together. So this is the Snapdragon version, and I just gotta say, it's way smoother, way, way smoother. You guys wouldn't be able to tell the difference anyway, side by side, because because my phone, because the camera only records at 30 frames per second. And yeah, um, this is just unbelievably smooth. No stutter at all. On the Exynos, it was, it was smooth as well, but there was a bit of stutter. It wasn't consistent. Yeah, I can see I'm running around over here. It just a constant 60 frames per second, maybe even higher. There's no way for me to tell, of course, but yeah, I really like the way it looks. I really like the way it looks. Sorry, I couldn't compare it side by side. It just wouldn't let me. It was so annoying. It said, "Oh, you logged in from another location. You logged in from the same location. Ah, oh, now I'm logging you out from this phone." It's so so annoying. So this is a light game or or a semi light game. It's called Wind Rider. It's one of my favorite games, even though I don't play much, and the phones are running this game identically. It's also fair to say that while we were in PUBG, the Exynos did heat noticeably more than the Snapdragon version. They both they both heat, but the Exynos just seemed hotter. Which in no way it overheated, but it just got hotter. This is another heavy game. It's called Blades, and... I haven't played this in a while, so it's interesting how it's gonna handle. Okay, this doesn't work as well, so we're gonna try closing one and trying just with just one game, see if, if that fixes the problem. Okay, this is the Snapdragon variant. Let's see if we can change our graphics. I guess we can't. So this is not 60 frames per second because that's just how the, the game is, but overall it's um it runs nice. Again, I'm sorry I can't do a side by side the game. It just won't let me. You guys saw what happens. It just won't let me. So yeah, this is how the Snapdragon runs. Okay, this is the Exynos variant. It runs the same, more or less. Okay, here, okay, my sensitivity is, okay, now, now it's fine. 
the frame rate is exactly the same and let's go through that door why is the brightness so low how do you open doors in this oh, okay here you go if i if i'm mistaken it feels a bit slower i mean really can't tell so yeah, guys that is pretty much it not really a hardcore test it just you know it's not really a hardcore test because we already know what long-term gaming would do all right We're, we are we are all aware that the exodus throttles it does and it doesn't help that samsung made some phones with a heat pipe and some phones without that's really dumb it's really stupid for long-term gaming you can expect the exodus variant to throttle Snapdragon won't throttle because it's a much more efficient chip. So my verdict is these phones are both quick. They're both very quick phones. The performance is nearly identical when it comes to browsing through apps and light or short sessions of gaming. The only time you're really gonna see a difference is when you're gaming for hours. The Exynos is prone to throttle, which basically means the frame rate is gonna drop drastically and it's gonna lag. While the Snapdragon, you can game for hours and it's not gonna lag because it's a more powerful chip and it doesn't and it doesn't get as hot. So if you wanna use this phone for light use, only light games here and there, and you want the latest Samsung device for some reason, then I mean go ahead and buy it. But if you're a heavy gamer, you're a heavy user, then I would get either the Snapdragon version or just opt for a completely different company altogether, like OnePlus or Realme, some other company like that or import it like mine and pay a fortune. So yeah, I know this video is gonna get a bunch of dislikes and a bunch of hate like, oh, this test this doesn't tell us anything. It's not in depth enough. I showed you that in daily use, there's no difference. I showed you in short sessions of gaming like PUBG and other heavy games, there's no difference. There's only the matter of throttling that there's no point to test further because we, we both, we all know Dexness is gonna throttle. There's been countless tests already. And yeah, if you have any questions anyway, leave them in the comments down below. And for you trolls out there, for you haters, for the ones who like, who love to insult me and give me criticism, join my Discord server and we'll have a conversation. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.